people, got myself all ready to go. And then I realized I couldn't go anywhere. Where am I going to go? There's like this pandemic. I'm locked down, my stupid underlying conditions. And it is a beautiful day in California. That I can't say that that often, you know, between the smoke and the wind and the heat and whatever. We got new red red flag warnings on now for additional fires. It's pretty crazy. But, you know, I thought, hey, this is, let's just get up. Let's go see if I can find some friends. And, you know, I'm doing that. I'm just live. I just turned on the camera and I went live. It's so cool. Um, I have no idea if anybody can see me at all. If anybody sees this and says, hey, let me just at least tell Dave that he's not talking to zero people, then you would shoot me a comment or something and I would see it on my screen maybe because I've never used the screen for comments yet. Um, but uh, but good morning and how you guys doing? I put in my description, of course, it's football, uh, worship, and Pokemon. And to me, that's an ideal Sunday morning and I just want to make that clear. And look at that. Look, somebody says good morning, uh, friend, and that's so nice of somebody, which is cool. It's not coming up at all in my in my chat box, but you know what? I guess we do the best we can, so that's fine. I'll figure that out the next time. Uh, so yeah, so what are we going to talk about? Let's see, Sunday morning. A uh, couple things. Um, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on the past couple of videos for those that are still there. And uh, see anybody here? Oh, that's nice. I've got some of my uh, some of my foreign friends. I tried to get it up early once so I could talk to some of my foreign friends who are so wonderful and sweet. Um, but, uh, but let's see. So I did a, a video on the red Fossa logo set that I was very fortunate to, um, I mean, as I come off this for a second, let's let me come over here to just me before we get going on some cards. So let's see, let's try this one. Yeah, here we go. I got Fortnite playing in the background cause my son may be running and out playing a game while we're doing this and that's fine too. Um, so the red logo, red logo fossil set, uh, I'm fortunate to have that now as part of my collection, which I said. And I did a nice video on that, and I hopefully you guys got to see that. If not, really take a look. It's just such a rare set. Uh, I have um, a couple. I have one more set, I think, of the of the commons and uncommons uh, to out on the website. So again, my website is David Pokey Person. David, the word Pokey, P-O-K-E. That's not a word. Person, my last name, P-E-R-S-I-N dot com. And um, again, very hard to come by. I think I've sold three of them already. So. So once they're gone, they, they're gone as far as, you know, for me and uh, and I try to put them at a reasonable price. So if you guys get a chance to check that out. Um, let's see. I talked about Champion's Path. Um, uh, so many of you were kind enough to kind of just tell me your thoughts on Champion Path. So uh, so that was cool. Um, I'm still waiting for it to come in. So I'm just kind of watching the market and see what's going on there. Uh, some very interesting opinions on Champion's Path as far as it not being anything like Hidden Fates. The chase cards are just like the Hidden Fates, but obviously the rest of the set, from what I'm hearing from most of you, is that it's not resonating with you as well. Um, and that's why when I did the video a few videos ago on the Hidden Fates uh, Master Set, um, I was just so impressed with it because of the shiny vault piece of those 94 cards, which really resonated with me specifically. So thank you. Um, if someone likes my bobbleheads, uh, Tartuffe the Spry. Uh, uh, and, um, and I must be happy with the Lakers right now. I got no problems with the Lakers, you know. The Lakers should really win it all. I mean, you know, my sons will debate me and say, well, it's just not enough. They just have Davis and LeBron. Well, how can you just have Davis and LeBron? How much more do you need around Davis, Anthony Davis and LeBron? Then you put Rage and Rondo, playoff Rondo. Come on. I mean, there's so much going on there, so much talent. And they can turn it up a notch. They just go to LeBron. They go to the league and they say, hey, LeBron's not getting fouls. The next game they get 47 fouls. So, you know, it's it's pretty cool to be able to wield that kind of power. Um and uh, Arnulfo says, still no champion's path for me. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, um, you know, I, I will suggest to you guys that you look for, everybody wants elite trainer boxes when it comes to champion's path. So um, keep in mind that that is one way to buy champion's path, obviously. And that's probably the best way from an investment standpoint, because it has the highest quantity of packs in the boxes. But that's not the only way. And and most of my purchases have come off the pin collections, which you can still get at $15, $17 uh, for three packs, which only comes out to be 5 or $6 a pack. So I really recommend that for those of you who at least want to try to chase the cards or own some of the cards or some of that stuff. I think that's pretty good, too. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Caruso is playing unbelievably. Car uh, Caruso is playing like, you know, they, they call him the goat for a reason. So it's pretty funny for the Lakers, for those that are there. Um, okay, so uh, let's see what else we got. Um, the I do want to point out as well, um, people only watch my videos for like four to six minutes, so I got to get all this stuff out early, the important stuff. Um, 
I did do a video in the last one about my world's uh, championship cards. And I, and I use my website as a conduit for putting things on sale. So um, I give you guys, I tell this all the time. Again, my, my numbers are waning, but hopefully the people that are there and looking at my website are, are reaping the benefit from that. Uh, it's sort of like me telling you a special place that I buy from um, that is discounting things, but you guys don't know about it and only a handful of people get to benefit. So, so I just put on the 2013, 2015, and 2017 Worlds cards, uh, the, the participant cards, you know, from the nine card sets. And in the, in the situation of the 2013, 15 specifically, very, very rare. You do not see them anymore. Um, the 17s, very rarely do you see them, but occasionally more just because they're newer. And of course, they have the 2018s and 19s on there as well. I have each of those cards, I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe that each of those cards is on the website for $149.95. So, um, so again, uh, you're talking, you can't even find them anywhere. And I reserve the right to limit the number I sell. I don't have a huge quantity, but check them out and make sure if it's something you're looking for, you will not see those prices again, guys. So. You know, again, if it's something you're looking for, a chance to even own one of these world type cards, uh, the stamped, uh, I'm talking about the English versions right now. I have some, some sets out there as well that'll contain all of the seven country versions. And the one I messed up and missed in the last video was French, by the way. I apologize to all my French uh, friends, my folks in France. Uh, so just so you know. Um, let's see. Okay, and somebody bought uh, Re Marij 00, because there's all different names here, or bought a decent amount of staff cards from me last month. Um, getting into a lot of different staff versions. Yeah, staff versions are just going through the roof. Very, very expensive. But um, but again, I'm always looking through my inventory. And when I have other things, I will put them up there. Uh, sometimes I don't get everything listed, cross-listed between eBay and between uh, uh, my website. So if you uh, don't see anything out there, feel free to just glance over at eBay, look for my store. And if you find things, you can certainly reach out to me and say, hey, we're interested in those as well. So uh, okay. Uh, because what I meant for that is that you could, I could bring them over to the website when I finally do get them listed and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. All right. Um, so talking about my videos, uh, something that's important is I, I appreciate all those that watch my videos and I'm going to try to continue to do things that give benefit to the folks that watch my videos because I try to put some effort into content creation and sharing the collection and sharing some of the other things I'm doing. But it's obviously a little disheartening when folks aren't really watching. So what I'm doing is I'm shouting out some of these different deals in hopes that some people jump on it. And then I've had people come and say, David, I wish I'd have seen the video sooner. I would have liked to have those cards as well. So, you know, please continue to watch. Please continue to look for little hints inside and little coupon codes and things that I'm going to offer special updates of what's in there. And that way you'll be able to keep an eye on the website and hopefully derive some benefit. For those of you that aren't interested in buying, that's absolutely fine. I don't care. My whole goal is to get people to watch the videos, not to buy from my website. But if I can give some other incentives so that there's more traction that starts to be, you know, uh, created, that would be good too. All right. Um, okay. So we're up to a whopping nine viewers and you're my favorite nine people in the whole world. I just want you to know that because I can't, what, if I don't have one viewer, then I don't have anybody watching. So now I have nine favorite friends and I appreciate that so much. So, okay, let's see what else I want to talk about. Um, let's talk about, uh, let me show you some cards. I'm going to show you some cards uh, from a collection. You can see on my screen, let me move it over here. It says consignment collections coming soon. Oh, by the way, with respect to collections that are coming soon, I've already started listing a lot of that stuff on the website. So I put a lot of new booster boxes out. Here's what I do with booster boxes, just in case you're interested. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to make them particularly cheap, but I try. I go to eBay typically, or I look around and I try to find the lowest price on a booster box I can find. And then from there, depending on the condition of mine, I'll either put it lower or maybe significantly lower, or put it on sale. So uh, there's a lot of booster boxes I have out there that you don't see very much of at this point. Some are more common, but the pricing should be very, very reasonable. So I hope you check those out too if you're ever looking for, um, looking for that kind of stuff. Obviously, investment type booster boxes with four, you know, eight sharp corners, however many corners there are, uh, are going to cost more. But sometimes I have some stuff that's a little bit more beat up because the way it was shipped to me and I'm able to discount that accordingly, too. So so again, you know, kind of spread the word and hopefully people will be able to benefit whether or not they're especially if they're opening boxes on some of that stuff, too. OK. Let's um, so let's look at a few cards. So I did buy a collection of um, of. It had uh, some sets in it, some complete sets. 
Um, it had Deoxys and it had uh, EX Emerald and um, Team Aqua Ma Magma, Team Aqua Magma, and maybe I think EX Legend as well. So I'm just going to kind of show you some cards from that. And if you guys have stuff you want to talk about, please ask me any questions. Please ask me anything so I can chit chat, you know, patty walk, give a dog a bone. This old guy is going to eventually be going home. That's a poem. It's very old. You guys are youngsters. You don't even know what I'm talking about. So it doesn't matter. Okay, here, let's look at some cards while I'm sitting there. So I'll move this over here. We'll go like this and I will show you a card that I'm going to get in focus, I promise. Let's try this here. So, somebody, we're going to play a game called, what is he showing? Somebody give me a, um, a, a thing and tell me, send me a message and tell me what set this is from. This is an Aerodactyl Holograph. I promise we're going to get better focus eventually when I figure it out. Let me come in front of this camera one more time. There we go. Okay. So what set is this from, this Aerodactyl Holograph? Okay. Well, I show you a couple of these cards. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it, man. Um, Gene, it's nice to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I tried to get something where my friends around the world could actually have a chance to watch as well. What set is these from, guys? Agron. Look at these beautiful, these are all gonna be going on the website. Um, but I wanted to show you what comes in. Been very fortunate when I've been doing these collections now, I've got some momentum coming with those. Uh, Power Keeper, somebody said. Uh, is that true? I don't know, it could be. Del Caddy. So these are all brand new. What you're gonna see from some of these older sets is uh, they have a little bit of curve um, Gene is saying Legend Maker. So these are, they might be more Legend Maker. That is very possible. Why would it go? Hang on a sec. Let's see. So, um, the more I'm going to show you some reverse hollows here in a second. And the reverse hollows, they really do curve. A lot of these have curved because the entire underneath the body of the card is made out of holographic material. And over the, um, okay, so we got a we got a power keeper is what we're getting the, the consensus here on these cards is power keeper. So these are brand new, brand new, right out of the boxes, into pages. Okay. And Gene's saying it's legend maker, guys. So I don't know. Gene's pretty good, but Gene's pretty good on her stuff. So I might have to go with Gene on this one as far as them being legend maker. I could tell you for sure. Just let me tell you. I'm kind of having fun with it, but let me see. These are Legend Maker. I can tell by the symbol on the bottom. So Legend Maker cards, guys um, and gals. Lapras. Okay, here we go. So Machamp. I'm just showing you some cards to kill some time. Stand on my feet. Get some exercise. Be with you guys. So please send me any questions or anything you'd like to know. Like I said, all of these will be going up on the website. I typically will try to sell one complete set. I give you a shot at the set first. I have the other ones out there right now. I have a, um, a hollow sets of, what do I have out there? I think I have hollow sets of Deoxys and Emerald are out there. Um, and then if they, depending on if they go or don't go from there, I might break them up and go into individual cards. So, oh, let's see the blue on the Cadabra. Somebody really liked that. Let's see what I got back here. Yeah, we'll come back and show that. They, they said it's really, um, I'm gonna say real fast, badass. Um, yeah, it really is. That's really neat. Shift tree. And someone really liked the Mew. I got to tell you, I really love the Mew. So this Mew is just one of my most favorite cards. The way it sort of just pops out of the card. Mike said that. Thanks, Mike. Um, Victory Bell. Look at that. Look at the blues on that one. Which is so cool because of the whole kind of water theme. Sometimes I tap the camera just because it seems to like to focus a little bit when I do that, so. And then I have, these are the, um, I think these are like the secret rares or something. So Pikachu, 93 of 92, and the ones at the back. That's a pretty neat card as well. 
You seem to have a nice collection, Gene. And the Jirachi, which is probably, I can't see, they're too dark right now, but obviously it's probably 94 or something of, I don't know, maybe it's, am I in the same set that I switch sets? Let me see, I switch sets. Okay, so these are probably secret rares from a different set. <laughs> I have a funny feeling Gene will tell us which one it's from. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can tell. I can tell you, let's see. It should be from the Team Aqua Team Magma is what I think these are from, the, the secret rares here. Jirachi and Absol. Lukeman, Lukeman Hafiz, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm just curious because you've seen the new name that I've not seen before. So tell me where you're from. All right, let's look at a couple of, um, of hollows from a different set. Let's see if I can tell where this is from. Are these from Legend Maker? Now, um, these ones have full, these ones have curled more, but they're still in, you know, I would call them, I don't know what you'd call them. Tell me what you would call them. Is a card that's perfect in every way except it's slightly curled. Um, I have to move these. I see what it is. I've got stuff in the background here. Let me fix it. Okay. Is a, is a I'm going to bring this down more just a second. Is a, is a card that's slightly curled, and uh, but otherwise perfect, right out of the box, is that, uh, would you say that's near mint, or would you say it's still mint? I'll move past this. It'll, it'll focus better on the next one. Um, oh, Steph Nietzsche has joined us. Nice to see you, Steph. Thanks. I tried to get, like I said, for those of you that were uh, maybe across the world, a chance to, um, to wake up a little bit and take a look or be up and take a look. Um, do I have Pokemon the first movie promo errors, Mr. Pelavacas? Uh, I, I do not. It's one of the one errors I, if you're talking about the upside downs, I do not have those errors. They never resonated with me. And what I mean is they just never, I, I never, I don't know what it was. I think that I have an impartiality, um, uh, meaning I'm impartial to uh, to a specific set of movie promos that you guys have never seen before in your life. I do have the Pokemon first movie promo cards in a way that you guys, none of you have ever seen before. And if I can get my viewers up at some point, I'm going to share them. Look at the background of this card. These are just the basic hollows. Um, that's funny. Okay. Somebody said, when's the quinceanera scheduled for our new foe? That is the best one yet, man. I appreciate that. We're still talking it over because there's no reason to have it with the darn pandemic, but we'll get it scheduled as soon as we can get the pandemic over and done with. Um, I'm moving on with the Blazik in here. Um, Victory Bell has slept on Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right, Mike, for sure. Look at the, here we left do a Charizard here. So I haven't looked at these in a long time. I didn't even know there was a Charizard in here. But look at the moon in the back. Uh, what set am I in again? I think I'm in the legend. Am I, am I in? Hang on a minute. I got a symbol like that on the bottom. I'm in the, I think I'm in Power Keepers. Do you guys think I'm in Power Keepers right now? Somebody weigh in. Um, so Gene says, as long as the curve isn't exactly a bend, I would count them as near mint. Because I think they're for sure at least near mint. I mean, I think you can count them near mint to mint, honestly. Because most people, suppose you take this and you put it on a grading slab. What are they going to do? They're just going to hold it out like this, right? They're just going to watch my hands. They're going to bend it out and it's going to sit there forever. No one's even going to know that they actually were curved at any point so long as they can still sit out inside of a slab. So, and they certainly will sit inside of binder pages, but they won't curve all the way out. So I would say for sure near mint, you could make an argument near mint to mint. There's not a single scratch on these. Um, and again, right out of the... You know, sometimes you'll see that this has a tiny little white on that top corner. So again, these are cards from a couple of collections that came in recently. Some of these I only have one set of, uh, but, uh, but some of them I have more of the multiples and I will be putting those out there too. Just check it. So Charizard is Power Keepers, yep. Um, Again, just doing the Machamp. Love Machamp. I love the power cards, the ones with the... I love cards with violence for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Why? I mean, it is a game of battling, right, in a sense. I mean, you do battle and then you, you hug afterwards. It's a game where you battle and hug. 
that's what makes the whole hobby so special. And I like the hugging part better than the battling. Um, anybody that wants to get some hugs, when we ever find we'll get to worlds again, so let's find each other and hug because I'm a big hugger. Me and Mike, I know Mike, uh, Mike D is a big hugger as well because, because he called one of the cards adorable and any guy that's going to call a card adorable is definitely a hugger. Good job, buddy. Um, Slaking uh, looks like he just isn't happy this morning. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I, I mentioned the warping gene because of the holographic materials um, uh, in the stuff too. Gene says, pretty common because of uh, uh, like the hollows with Japan from Japan because they out too long without protection because of the impunity and heat in the summer. So, uh, and train to go, pokey put, put wait, what, what, uh, um, okay, let's go. So let's see what else we got. I got some other stuff here. Um, let's look at, I got some emerald. I, you know what set I can tell is from? I can tell emerald. David, how can you tell emerald? Because it has an emerald on it. Thank good, you not. Hugs, not drugs. Thanks, Wes. I would expect that from you. That's the best. That's the best. Here we go. Let's look at a few of these now. So these are from the Emerald set. These ones, I actually have one set, one complete set listed on the website. And then, um, and then I have uh, a few extra individually. So you can, you can let me know. I can't leave any cards in the background. You got to get the cards out of the background. Then you got to say, hi, here's a card. And sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't because... Sort of like Mother Nature, it's running, my camera's running the show. I'm just a, a, a willing participant, Deoxys. Dark Lava Lizard in the house. Nice to see you. Hey, hey, explode, explode. Emerald Holographics, just showing you right now the Emerald Holographs, Gardevoir. These cards, there's just, the, these EX sets, I, I mean, clearly still have to be the, I know there's so much interest around the base and base unlimited, base first edition, that kind of stuff. But these cards uh, are just tremendously um, respected in the hobby. You still have that clean look. Um, still so hard to come by. The Kyogre cards just always look so cool. Yeah, I'm going to show some reverse hollows, uh, train to go, underscore JG, uh, pokey tube. Apparently, this the guy's got a name that just goes on for the next. I, I've got four screens I will read to read the guy's name. But um, but no, I um, I do like the reverse hollows. They're classic. I'm going to look at those in just a second as well. So my neck trick, again, holographs, emerald symbol at the bottom. Cards there. Here's a couple of the big ones. Rayquaza. Everybody seems to love Rayquaza. I have a funny feeling these ones, because I have a few extra, won't last that long. So. I will tell you just to point out for anybody that watches this, again, we're past the point of anybody's watching, but, um, but anybody is watching later on after the fact. Uh, I do put the price on the website, try to be reasonable, try to be fair. Sometimes I'm not going to get it perfect. Uh, sometimes I'll put them a little high at the beginning and then I'll revert, um, I'll re review them and potentially change them. So be aware and don't be afraid to reach out and say, David, we really think I want that Swampert card, but you're at $50 for that Swampert card and I don't see it anywhere else in the world for more than 30. And then I'm going to say, well, that's not your business because I want to sell it for $50. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say thank you for your input. I appreciate you doing the due dil diligence. I appreciate you letting me know. And maybe I should actually lower the price for you or give you a chance to buy it. So keep that in mind, okay? I'm pretty reasonable. I'm the most easygoing guy around when I'm not mad. So don't make me mad. Is that clear? Thank you. Okay, I just need to get that off my uh, off my chest. Um, hey, you know what? I've got a couple of... Um, I've got a couple of, let's see what I've got here. I don't know what I've got here. How about we just look at a handful of legend makers just in the beginning. I pulled out a stack of legend maker, uh, you know, reverse hollows. I still got to move this out of the background. So we can see again, I'm just going to show you some of these. Went through one of my friend's cards last night. Uh, this is Dark Lava Lizard. And uh, they had no idea about grading. And the base Charizard copy they have looks like a 10. Wow. Wow. 
That's the kind of friend you need to have more of. Make sure they're a very best friend and they know what you like when your birthday and stuff are coming up. Uh, there's no reason for them to be collecting anymore. They've done their time. Now it's time to turn it all over to you and let you handle it from there. So congratulations on that. Um, Legend Maker Mew. Are you talking about uh, Train to Go? Are you talking about Mew Reverse Hollow when you say Legend Maker Mew? So I'm just going to show you some. I'm not going to go through every one, but... Um, Oh, <laughs> Steph Nietzsche, don't keep my cards. I need my cards. Um, let's see. Some people like Steph Nietzsche from the, from the UK are kind enough to help me acquire some of the UK and other around the world cards. And then when she gets mad at me, she threatens never to send them to me. And I don't think that's reasonable. I don't know what I've ever done to her. I've been nothing but nice. I've tried to be. Um, Am I using her in a sense? Sure I am. But do I think I am? Sure I do. Do I want her to know that? No, I don't. Am I being serious? Possibly. Am I really being serious? No, I'm not. Okay. Just needed to get all that out there. Um, Gene, help me out. Make sure Steph Nietzsche doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, take advantage of me. It's not right. It's not right. We're a collaborative community. We don't take advantage of each other. We respect... Did anybody, did he say anything about the Mew? Is there a Mew in here? Let me see if there's a Mew in these cards real quick. The problem is I don't think they're in order yet, the way they came into my stuff, so I can't show those. So, all right, um, let me see if there's any chance I can see a Mew in here real quick. Bear with me, looking for a Mew. Here's a Mew. Let me show this Mew right here for the person that said Mew. So we saw the other one. We saw the hollow version, and then this is the reverse hollow. Look at that. Look at that glow right there in the background with the trees. Just amazing. So neat. Okay, so what I did is I, I gave I, I gave Steph Nietzsche some hassle on the on the broadcast, and now she's claiming she promises not to hurt me in the future. Okay. So it looks like we've sort of publicly shamed her into doing the right thing. All right, here. How about some EX? I put, picked a handful of these. Um, so I just picked a couple of the reverse hollows from Deoxys. Here's a Rayquaza. Again, all of these cards will end up on the website. So keep, I can't say I do it as fast as I can, but I'm a one man show with, with the videos and the website and eBay business and Discord and trying to communicate with people. I keep moving this to get a better focus. So, so let's see, there we go. I pulled a Jirachi as well. I just love the stars in the background with the colors that kind of match up with the Deoxys logo. So the reverse hollow, so. <laughs> uh, sorry, Steph, sorry. <laughs> I might have gone a little too far. Oh, man. Okay. Um, Girados, 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 depending on what country you're from. This is, this is definitely one of my favorite cards in all of Pokemon. And, um, and I don't have many favorite cards. I do have a favorite set now with the, my unveiling of the Hidden Fates Master Set the other day. But uh, this card is just, I can't get enough of it. And obviously, this is the reverse hollow, but of course, the one without the Deoxys is the regular hollow so um dark uh, lava lizard good i hopefully I'll, you'll see those on there here's some other cards i probably they need no introduction there are only one of each of these so when they do hit the website i can't promise how quickly they will or won't go but i do want to show you these were also in this collection um it was at the moment you pronounced garage doors are shut this video Oh, garage doors, you shut this video off. Uh, Good Vibes Collectibles, checking out real quick. Couldn't take anything I was saying, and you can't blame it. Crobat EX, so everybody loves the EX cards. Uh, oh, J, J, R, J, R, D, I don't know what you guys are doing right now. Um, uh, it's good. It's good that I... It's good that I know things that you don't know, and it's good that you know things that I don't know, and it's good that the two paths will never cross. I don't know what that means. Uh, Deoxys EX from the Deoxys set, I would think, right? Am I in the Deoxys set? Sure I am. So Deoxys from Deoxys. Oh, 
Okay, now I get it. Now it's all coming to me. You see, my mind will work. It just takes a bit longer than you youthful folks. So I get it now. Girados. Giredis. Gurado. Okay, now I get it. Thanks. Fair enough. Fair enough. I have some work to do on my pronunciations, and I deserved all of that, so thank you. Manectric. Tom, thank you for never being a bystander. Checking in means a lot. Great to see you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Just showing a few extra cards that I picked up from a couple of collections. Uh, I have them in my collection, which is the good news, so I can offer them all to you. So... Uh, what's my thoughts on the assets? EX Emerald, um, Simon Gamer 987. I love anything EX. I have to be straight honest with you. I love everything EX. I know that the sets and the values end up coming more specifically from. Uh, I'm mixing another set in here, I think. So I think I am. Maybe I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, is it a secret rare? It must be a secret rare. That's why I went out of order so I could save a couple for you. So I realized that the set values end up coming off of the box values and the demand for some specific cards, the demand for the specific cards inside. Um, but, but it doesn't mean they're not gorgeous and beautiful and maybe a Deoxys is worth more and maybe a Team Rocket Returns is worth more and maybe Power Keepers, but they're still beautiful cards. So, so I had a couple of these hidden gems in there as well. Uh, I sold a couple of these in the last week off another video, I think uh, from in lesser condition from some, I think I did a mud kip. Uh, someone shouted me out yesterday and it was really kind of them to tell me they enjoyed the card and I couldn't wait to put it in their, um, in their uh, collection. So uh, the Raikou is one of my top five favorite cards. Thanks, Tom. It's really a neat, it is a neat card. Um, here's the other one. Yes, Gene. Team, Team Rocket returns uh, from the, the Raikou. A couple of gold stars, so obviously they're the ones that just seem to sort of go through the roof. By the way, in some of my videos I make mistakes, and that's okay. Don't we all make mistakes, right? I realized in one of the past two videos I said that there was only a hundred of the Battle Academies when I meant a card, Art Academy cards. And so... You know, when I make a mistake like that, the most important thing for you to do is spit out your food immediately, bite your tongue, and then realize it's sort of like a strike on me. And I, but I don't get three strikes. Like I'm not a, a batter. I'm more like a cat. I have like nine strikes and you're out. Okay. Keep that in mind before you're too critical. Uh, Dark Lava Lizard. No, I don't have them out there yet. I just didn't. I just started pulling this stuff from a collection I got since I announced I was doing some of the consignment collections. So. So folks are sending me their stuff to sell for them. So I have not put this out and we have to figure out, um, figure out the pricing and all of that. So I will. Um, I'm going to take a break for a second. Uh, so hang on because I'm up to 17 viewers. And I promised when I got to 17 viewers, I was going to play my favorite game. I was going to promise the guys behind me I was going to finish my game. Let me get the screen on better here. Uh, we were playing a game of Duck, Duck, Goose. Now the way we play it is... We play it. It's called Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose, okay? Okay, so here we go. I'll be right back in just one sec. You guys stay right there. Okay, guys. Here we go. Psyduck, 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 Psyduck. Psyduck. Zangoose. Zangoose. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I just, I didn't want to let him down, so. Okay, all right. Um, so let, I have a few more cards out here I took out just to show you. Um, this is, uh, this is uh, from Emerald. These are some reverse hollows. So I just pulled a couple of the nicer ones that I like anyways, just to show you some of those. Oh, and I want to show you something about these as well. So we go to Blaziken. Um, yes, uh, Dark Lava Lizard, it is the Looney Asylum over here. And I have to entertain myself because I can't do anything. I'm in a pandemic. I'm all alone in this world. 
I question the very bane of my existence each and every day. I look to the stars, the stars are there, but I can't see them, there's too much smoke in the sky. I, I intellectually question myself, but I won't even talk back to myself. I've got concerns that I can't express, but I feel like I'm not heard. You figure it out. Okay, I'm sorry, I got a little of myself. Blaziken EX Emerald. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, yeah, they do play tricks on me, Gene, thanks. Okay, here's a Rayquaza EX Emerald. Now, I've had these cards for years, right? Not these ones, but I've had them in these cards in my collection for years. Um, yeah, thanks, Tom. I do. I very much have a lot of fun by myself. Uh, it's the reason most people stay away from me and let me be my myself. Um, here's a Skeptile. And I had to put one special card in honor of what I just did, by the way. And here it is. The Zan Goose. I should have taken it out, but hopefully you can see it's got the Zan Goose in there. Side Duck, Side Duck, Zan Goose. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks, Steph. Thank you. It's nice to know you guys are there with me and I don't have to be alone with myself for any length of time. Now, let's look at these for a minute. Watch this. Pikachu. And I know that you guys are going to realize that, yes, I did. Unitix, I try to make a new game. We should make every game relate to Pokemon since that's where we all live primarily anyways. And Voltorb. Okay, so watch this. So I'm sure you guys know this, but I did not know this, and some of my most knowledgeable friends in the hobby did not know, did not, were not necessarily aware of the specifics of this. Look at this. So did you know that the EX Emerald stamp comes in two different colors? It's some of them are green and some are the silverish white. Um, so that is because I believe that the green version comes in the hollows of the set and the rares. So the hollows and the rares are green and the silver or whitish looking one is in the rest, commons and uncommons. But if you guys know anything to be different than that, let me know. This is just my observations recently as I've kind of seen this as I've been going through the cards. So I thought that's a little bit of an interesting fact. And here's a handful of other cards that... Uh, that are in these uh, collections coming in. I know we love looking at this stuff, so. Who's got a question for me? Who wants to ask me something about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Or maybe just about the rules for Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose. What set am I in here, folks? Am I in Emerald? I'm in Emerald. So, as I've mentioned 27 times on the video, these cards are coming from collections from consignment, but actually have extras of these sets that I myself will be putting out there at some point as well. I'm probably going to put the cards out as complete sets because I like to give folks a chance to do that. It's really hard to do um, card by card, obviously, and it, but that creates tremendous affordability issues, and I realize that as well. Um, so... Dark Lava Lizard, I'm going to smack you. Um, so Dark Lava Lizard wants me to do the to talk about the pre-release Raichu, but I don't have enough, you know, there's 13 viewers on here, and I love all of you, but I need more than 13 viewers to talk about the pre-release Raichu. So, um, so I will put other sets up in full for a while and give folks a chance to buy a complete set, and then if that affordability factor or demand factor isn't there, then I will start to break them down and sell them as individuals some of the time. So, uh, Gene, you may be mere mortal, but you, I, you would be very welcome to write the rules for Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose because, because I certainly am not capable. I can barely play. I think I, I think I pulled a hamstring just doing four circles around my large uh, Pikachu friend in the background. So. Do you happen to know if the alternate colors for stamps on the pre-release Clefable are a myth or real? I do not. I do not. I, I could make up an answer, uh, Mr. Pelavakis, but I, I really don't uh, know the answer. I don't think, I, I really, I think they're more of a myth than anything just from my experience, but I, I'm not sure if I were guessing. Um, 
Tartuffe the Spry, if you're asking how do you go about meeting new prospects in your career and you're asking about financial advisory career, um, yeah, you, it's, it's really difficult. I mean, I started in the business by actually just calling people, but it's so hard to get them to pick up the phones these days. So it certainly is much more of a referral business and more market only takes you so far. But persistence is the number one thing. If I was doing, if I was, you know, even doing prospecting these days that wasn't mainly referral based, I wouldn't be afraid to go door to door. I think it's tremendous to get involved with groups of people and do presentations in front of those groups, offer uh, introductory services, offer complimentary services, financial plans, like they always want to do when you walk in the bank or something. Uh, so I think that's what I'd be doing is, is mainly trying to do some some sem some targeted seminars to certain groups of, of people. Dark Lava Lizard, that's the thing with you is you you always have to try. And you know what, guys? It goes with both situations. How neat of that is a tie-in for Dark Lava Lizard to Tartuffe the Spry? You know, how do you go about meeting new prospects when you're trying to sell something, essentially, your services and your career? Well, you got to try, right? you got to open 100 doors for, you know, to get 99 of them slammed in your face, as they say. And then eventually the one will stay open. So never, that's the thing is understand, never feel defeated. It's like, you know, you're going to go after this card 100 times and you're going to lose. And the 99th, 99, you're going to lose the opportunity and the 100th, you're going to get it. So you just keep fighting the battle and keep going. I'm in California, California in the USA, Arnulfo. Am I showing there's a couple of these? I guess you can see, I guess that was two of those. Let me throw this one in. Hopefully there weren't duplicates. I wasn't really looking that specific. Uh, uh, Tartuffe the Spry, it uh, doesn't matter that you're introverted. I want to make that clear. Uh, you're, he's saying to me, folks, that, uh, that he had tried a career but realized he was too introverted. Um, I want to tell you guys something right now, a little life lesson for those of you that are kind enough to be here. So the two or three of you that are still on the broadcast will benefit by this little piece of wisdom as I, sh as I hold this in front of you. I thought I would fail miserably at this career because I was too introverted. I'm very introverted. It may not seem like it on here because I'm, <clears throat> what am I doing, right? I'm talking into a camera. So I'm just, you know, it's easier than having to be out in front of a group of people. I'm introverted. I'm reclusive. I like personal relationships. I like to listen to people more than talk to them. So, uh, you know, and I like to help. So what some coaches told me is, David, that's a strength. Being introverted is a strength. People are going to realize that you're sensitive and caring and people are going to come to you for that kind of service rather than somebody who's just the salesman. So there's nothing wrong. Like if you look at a Leon Hart or Pokey Rever, these guys, they're just different than me. They do something different and we all do our own thing. But there's people that like my style in business is what I'm talking about more so than Pokemon. And, uh, and it resonates. They say, hey, that guy is... He keeps his phone on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so we can reach him if for anything. So they understand that that's not a that's not a um, a detriment. It's a strength if you turn it into a strength. That goes for anything, folks. You don't have to do it the way your competitors do it. You can kind of create your own um, style. So with each of these um, cards, there's, I showed you the legend makers. Let me see if I have anything else here. Uh, I also have typically at least one set, one full set of, so I just show you these real quick. These are the cards from, someone will tell me again that symbol at the bottom. These are power keepers. So what you'll see here is that these are brand new pack fresh cards. There's a full set of the non-holographic cards. I'm just thumbing through from Power Keepers. Let me come out here a little bit. I've got the camera pretty close, so I'll go on here. So this also, I tend to make at least one of these sets available. People have bought some of the Deoxys and um, what else do I have out there? Deoxys and Emerald uh, sets because it's a chance for a couple hundred bucks to own every one of these without buying. It's gosh, it's two, three, four hundred dollars for a pack of cards now from these sets because the boxes are considerably over ten thousand uh, uh, dollars involved. So, so just showing you a handful of these so you see, but I do have these out there as well. Um, 
Oh, that's very sweet, Wes. Thank you very much. Wes said, I hit the like button because uh, the stream that I'm doing is it made him feel good. And, and that's cool. I mean, you know, that's the reason. So why do I get up? Why, you know, why do I care? What am I going to do on a Sunday? Whatever. The boys are watching. My boys are watching football. I love football, but it's okay. It's game. It's not a playoff game. It's game two or three, I guess, game three. Um, so what I want to say is it's you guys that make me feel so great. So I appreciate that very much, Wes. That's very kind of you. And, um, it's just fun to get out and, and here was my plan. Let me say one more thing. I'll, I'll start thumbing through a few more of these. I don't think I showed these ones to you yet. Uh, these are the hollows from, from, I don't know which one it is. Uh, I'm going to say Deoxys. I'm pretty sure I did not show these to you yet. And if I did, forgive me because those have been on from the beginning. We'll see them again, but I didn't show them to you already. Um, I have no idea what I was going to say now, so I'll just go, uh, are you a pro, are you, DC, are you a, I don't know what that means. Um, hi, Asaf, how you doing, buddy? All the way in Amsterdam on vacation, wow. Um, let's see, I'm just looking at the, I'm looking at the comments here for a second. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I was going to say that my intention now is trying to do shorter videos on a more frequent basis, you know, like one every day, 10 minutes a day, every other day, something like that. But I still wanted to do my longer live stream videos just to hang out. And I also want to do the live stream box breaks. But just remember, if you I know a lot of you folks right now are in the foreign time zones and stuff, but maybe anybody that watches later and they still ship to foreign and I can still get the shipping down to a little bit. If you let me know, I just tried to put it about twenty dollars, but I think it's costing more like 13 or 14 to get it there now. Um, I am not getting that traction on the box break. So, so any ideas you have for that, look at the website, you know, buy a box break, buy a pack or two. It makes a difference because that allows us to do something and hang out and talk as well. And I love doing those. And hopefully I'll get some hidden fates in, not hidden fates. I'll get some champions path in here soon and maybe be able to do that as well. But I've got some older boxes too. So we're in Deoxys right now. Uh, Oh, oh, are you asking me if I'm an eBay seller? No, no, DC, I'm not. Uh, I'm just myself, so. Hi, Alice, nice to see you. Um, it's, you know, I'm, I'm only gonna be on for three more minutes, but it's just nice of you to check in and show everyone how late you could be to the party. I mean, I've heard of fashionably late, but this may be uh, irresponsibly unfashionably late or something, but but thanks for uh, for checking in just to to show us that your life's a mess and then you can get out of bed whenever you want. Okay, I went a little too far. I'm not sure. I guess I was mad at Alice for, for bothering to even to show up at this point. Um, okay, so uh, Mr. Pelavakis asked such a great question. Such a great question. What a great question. Um, what are the milestones in terms of subscribers which will trigger your unveiling of your rarest cards? Uh, and are there cards I'll never show us? No, 100%. I'd love to show you every single card. This is the card I was saying might be my top five for sure of all Pokemon cards that I've ever seen. I absolutely love this card. I don't know. It's the, it's the detail of the art. It's the expression on the face of the character whose name I refuse to say for being uh, criticized mightily the last time I tried. But it does sound something like Garage Door, somebody told me. Um, and uh, <laughs> Okay, Alice, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, Alice. It was a joke. Okay, I didn't mean to, if anybody should show, be showing anybody up, it should be you showing me up. You should say, David, it's an, you should be honored by me coming to your, 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 whatever the heck this is, because who, there's like four people viewing. So just feel good that I even got on. Thanks. Thanks, Alice. Um, Jan OMS, nice to see you. I can't do any singing this morning because my throat's under, uh, I'm under lozenge care or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so to answer Mr. Palavakis' question, I just want to build some momentum. I've gone the other way. This is the, the honest truth. I told you guys, always going to be transparent with you. I did my first videos. There was like a couple of weeks and I was getting thousand views, sometimes for sure, five, 600. The last several videos I've done, I'm getting uh, 250, 300, 350 views at the most. The last one was a Friday night when I get it, but less than 200. So my momentum is going down. The world is telling me, David, we have no interest in what you're doing at all. And that's fair. You know, I mean, why should they? Why should you guys care? I barely care about myself. And I think we all know that. So uh, so the reality is I got to build momentum. And as long as I build momentum and get somewhere, um, I will show the cards. And I don't have numbers set numbers, Mr. Pelavakis. Uh, but um, the Big Blue Serpent, Mr. I appreciate, I will call him that. The Big Blue Serpent is my favorite card. Um, but, uh, but I will... 
I'm ready to show everything and anything. I just, it just isn't going. And I'm trying now, I'm trying different strategies. I'm trying to link in the social media platform so people will, you know, find ways and reasons to watch more. But once I feel like the content is, is resonating with folks, then hopefully uh, I will show more things. And I've shown a lot of rare and valuable things. I just haven't gotten the real, real good stuff out yet. Um, uh, thanks, Alice. And it's funny how you turned it into something about food. Alice said she's fine. She'll take the roast. And what she was talking about is not the idea of me criticizing her in a fun way. She was talking about the pot roast because Alice is apparently a, a big foodie, loves to eat meat, loves to pack in the stuff. She's a protein eater. She works out feverishly and she needs her protein to make those gains that she's looking for. So she'll take the roast means she'll take any meat you're cooking. All right. So ask me something. Come on. Tell me something because I could just keep showing cards forever. But what's the point? Really? What's the point? I could eat on camera. Um, you know what we'll do? I think the guys want me again. Let me just do one more round with the guys, okay? Wolfie, good to see you. I got to do one more round with my peeps, all right? I promised them uh, another round of uh, a Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose. I'll be right back. Okay, listen, you guys have been so patient. I'm so appreciative, all right? What are you guys doing? Everybody good? No, no, stop it. Stop fighting. Wooloo. That's not right. We talked about that. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, my turn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Psyduck. 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 Zangoose! Good job. Good job, guys. Whew. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm a little worse for wear. But um, what's going on? All right. Uh, I got to sing for Jan. I'll be back. Um, How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the little tiny eyes. How much is that doggy in the window? I wonder what will be my next surprise. Thanks, Jan, for tuning in. That's for you, buddy. Uh, let's see. Were you ever fortunate enough to meet Kobe Bryant? I was not. I was not fortunate enough to meet Kobe Bryant. You would think at some point with all the basketball my kids played over the years, in the leagues and stuff, I would have, but, uh, but I did not. So that's kind of sad. But I was in the NBA shop. I have to get my wind. Just one sec. I just have to breathe for one sec. I'll be back. Okay, I'm good now. Um, I was in the NBA shop in New York one time when I bought a lot of the things that you see behind me and they said to buy the bobblehead, the lady's like, I wasn't a huge fan of Kobe and she goes, you gotta own this. This will be something special one day and she was 100% right, unfortunately, for all the wrong uh, reasons. Um, let's see, uh, Gene, I don't know who won on the round. The problem is Gene wants to know who won Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose. I don't even know how to play. Okay, I just I just invented the game. I don't know how to play. Plus, none of these characters will talk to me. Look at them. Can I even you look at them right there? I'll get, look at them. I mean, I feel like they're on strike or something. I play a, I play a fair game. I'm not cheating anybody. I'm just playing the game. But it, okay, forget it. I just can't go there. Um, hmm. Oh, you were there with his family. That's cool. Dark Lava Lizard. Cool to have seen him. So, um, Alice, quality entertainment. Uh, spoken like somebody who knows a good quality roast as well, I'm sure. So let's see. And then I have this other stuff. These are like, like I'll just pull out some cards here. Because why not? I just threw some cards on a desk and we'll go. Uh, so I was fortunate enough to buy just a very small collection. And I just thumbed through. These go on the website at very reduced prices. Um, and I sold a lot of the ones I just put out there already. I'll do them by one and one because they're not in the greatest condition. So I'm showing you the cards, I'm not showing you the condition. When I put them on the website, it does take me a while to list them. Um, Gene's always got some. Gene, listen, you should be like a commentator on a new show because the one thing is, your mind works almost maybe faster than mine and that's scary. That's, the, that's, that's a sick mind, Gene. That's sick, okay? Work that stuff out. There's therapy for what you're going through. I should know. All right, so, so these cards are not in the greatest of condition, but I sell them 
cheaply so that people that want a very special car don't have to pay premium prices. Well, isn't that nice of you, David? I think it is. Don't be sarcastic. Be appreciative. You know, I don't have to do that. I don't have... I don't have to do that. That's the wrong camera. I get, sometimes I just get angry. I just, I just, I don't know. I've got a few issues um, and I'm going to work through them. So, hmm. Okay. So these are just, I just go real quick through some of these cards. They're from a variety of different sets. Um, they could range from excellent to very good. Some are better than worse. And, you know, so you pick up a few cards for five, six bucks and a cute one, a first edition here. These will all hit the website, okay? A lot of the ones that already did are gone. You sure talk about your website a lot. Sure, you darn right I do. I put a lot of time and effort in. I've got like over 600 listings. I did it myself. Created the website myself. Got the cards myself. Bought the cards myself. Uh, condition graded them. Talked about the cards. Don't, you know what? Maybe I want a pat on the back. Fine, just stay right there. You're okay. It's okay. Yeah, well, you can see it. Watch what I'm doing right here. Watch this. It's all right. It's fine. It's good. It's all good. All right, um, Mirage Stadium. Yeah, that's a Mirage. Uh, Cabo Tops. Cabo Tops. Miracle Sphere. Oh, I'm getting a tat. Look at I'm getting a pat on the back. Even by a back scratcher is giving me a pat on the back now. See? See? That's fine. In this little collection, all kinds of stuff. So thanks, Alice. I needed that very much. So, um, Gene likes the Madhouse. Gene tunes in just for the Madhouse. You see, and I want all of you to know, all of you in the U.S. need to know something. I don't care. I'm not controversial. Maybe a little bit. I'm not intentionally controversial. Possibly just a small amount. I'm not trying to be intentional. Yes, you are. Okay, forget it. Just, I don't want to say anything. What I want to say is, okay, I tried. I had to go. Foreign people are nicer than U.S. people. Okay, yeah, stop throwing things. Don't turn out the thing. We all know it's right. It's just like saying women are nicer than men. I don't know why. I don't understand why. It's just what it is, okay? So those are not, it's not like, you know, I'm trying to make some controversial statement. It is what it is. That's just what it is. Some of you collect certain cards. You're like, oh, David, there's the ditto card I've always wanted, but I never had, so... Asaf, I'm angry because you went on vacation and you didn't take me. You're in Amsterdam. I'm stuck in four-wall prison here in California. Why am I angry again? Come on, Asaf. I don't understand you at all. I thought we were better friends than that. Um, Gene, thanks for patting me on the back as well, even if it's from a super long distance away. Uh, my website pic's not so zoomed in. Oh, Wolfie, they should have. Have you looked recently, Wolfie? Because we did a technical, it was a technical glitch and we had it corrected. Please look again and let me know if the website picks are not as zoomed in. If you just look today, I'm in trouble because we tried to get them fixed. And I don't know if you're looking on your phone or on a different device, but I'll look again. Just as a couple days ago, things had been fixed on the website. So Spicy, Lukman Hafiz says. Spicy, love it. Um, uh, Oh God, what a what an amazingly uh, what an amazing question, Mr. Pelavakis. Can you do me a favor? Just one sec, guys. I need to talk to Mr. Pelavakis for a second, okay? So everybody, just hold your 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 chatter for a moment. Let me talk to Mr. P. Stop, Gene. Stop for a second, Mr. P. Can you get off the stream now? Because you are blowing up my mind. My mind is a complete explosion with your intellectually based stimuli, synapse, stimuli questions. You're killing me. All right, so here's what he asked this time. It's just the next thing from Mr. P. Okay, Mr. P says this. Would you trade the pre-release right to for your cat back? Okay. Uh, and then Dark Lava Lizard pounded him. Dark Lava Lizard put out the, the gloves and smacked Mr. P in the head. And he said... Wow, that's a loaded question. Okay? And it is. It's a loaded question. But, um, and then Asaf, who's always three steps behind everybody because he's drinking on some beach in Amsterdam. Asaf, do they have beaches in Amsterdam? I don't know. I don't know about Amsterdam at all. Is Amsterdam a, a city? Does anybody know what country Amsterdam is in? Amsterdam. 
I don't want to even say it. It'll make me seem stupid. I have no idea. Um, okay, so yeah, Wolfie 68, it should be fixed. I hope it's fixed. Um, we did, we had a, a, a technical ticket in for a long time to try to fix that mistake and it was fixed the last time we looked at it. So let me know if you don't see it. Anyways, here's my question. Uh, absolutely 100%. Would I give up the pre-release right to you to have Joey back uh, in a heartbeat? Okay. In a heartbeat. That little friend, you guys know that have pets, unconditional love, uh, at your side, night and day. Uh, all they want is love. And when you are with them, it's sort of a peace and calm, unless you have a dog that's crazy, and then it's not a peace and calm, but you get the point. So that's not even a question, a great question, though, but that isn't even, even a half a thought for me. To have that little that little boy back next to me would be huge. Um, yeah, Alice, I know nothing about geography. Nothing. Nothing. Thanks, Mr. Pete. Um, I, I really don't. I mean, it's bad enough that I've got to know my regions like coastal and, you know, whatever they are. So, so again, I'm just going through a handful of cards from, from another collection that I bought uh, that goes up. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. It's just getting it all listed takes a bit of time. Someday I'll show you this one. Obviously, there's a special two-pack cards of this that were put out in promotional form uh, from another country that are pretty popular as well. Um, yeah, and pets definitely don't talk or judge, talk back or judge, which is why they're so much better than kids. Sorry, hopefully the kids won't watch this. Kids don't watch anyways. I actually could put the video in front of Joey if he were still here and he'd watch my whole video. My kids turn it off in two minutes and neglect to like or put a thumbs up on anything uh, unless they are want some money and then they put a thumbs up pointing to my wallet. Um, all right, so I'll do one more of these little packs here. A soft buy your collection. Well, give it to me. Get it over here. Get it here. I'm not doing anything. I'm stuck in my rooms buying collections, having a good time. I'm going through a few more cards from a different collection similar to the other one. These are, again, lower priced, um, just more fun type cards for people that might be looking for something that's older, not the best, uh, uh, you know, kind of um, not the best condition, like I said, but people still really love them when they're priced right. Uh, Gene, yeah, I thought about getting another animal. Um, I'm, uh, it's tough. It's tough. I just, uh, it's a lot of responsibility and I've just sort of, I don't want to just replace Joey with something else right away, so. Work in progress, work in progress. Um, and thank you, Dark Lava Lizard. I appreciate the nice comment. It's all about heart. You know, folks um, that are with me right now, This that's the whole thing is, I'm not saying everybody doesn't have a great heart. They do. A lot of people have a wonderful heart, but that should be so much more important than so many other kind of things. What is this, pop? This is a pop card. It's either four or six. So this one is really neat. This is a hollow from one of the, the Pro Pokemon organized play uh, type of packs. So probably pretty more rare than not, but kind of cool. Um, hey, good to see you, Connor. Good to see you, man. Hope things are going well. Um, so I'll show you a few more of these, but. Uh, You think Remoraid, it just makes me think of hemorrhoid. And you guys don't know probably what that is because you're all too young, but you will someday. So remember this, this discussion as I said it. I feel bad when you guys figure it out. Okay. Um, this card's too dark for me. I don't like this card. It's just too dark. Muck. Too dark. Well, of course, so what do I pull next? A darker one. But these ones have a purpose for being dark. Okay. I mean, it just says it's dark. It doesn't try to mislead you and then be dark, right? Yeah, I'll tell you about that. My, you want to talk about snit? You want to talk about so? So I will do this at some point for Jan OMS, my singing buddy. Um, my son, uh, who's now about thirty or so, has just bought a home and created an entire room in the home that basically it's a mini reptile zoo. And uh, yes, hemorrhoid, that's what I said, Alice. And you know what, eat too much of that pot roast and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So don't get too smack with me right now. Um, so it's got snakes, lizards. Um, I mean, he's got rattlesnakes in there 
that he's caught himself. Just goes out, puts a foot on one end of it, grabs it by the neck in a way so it can't bite you, and he's got it in his thing. Um, it is crazy. So I'm gonna, at one point, I'm gonna take the cameras over there and I'll do a broadcast from there so you guys can see what it looks like. He's about 30 minutes up the road from me. Um, Kevin living the high life. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Not much is up. Uh, the website, this, this broadcast has been up for about an hour now. So here's the, the good news is you're here. The bad news is you're even later than Alice. And, uh, and I'm sorry for that, that there's no reason that that should have happened. I do recognize this is a fire red light life, fire red leaf green reverse hollow. So, um, stabbed pre-release hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid. Oh, Wes, I don't know. You know what? With counterfeiting, it just might be. It just might be, okay? Why don't you guys think? Look, all that the Japanese artists do is they just take a concept, right? Like here's a horse in the sea, okay? And they call it horse sea, right? So what's the point? Shouldn't we have a hemorrhoid card? Yes, we should. I invented a game today and I invented a new card. It's going to probably be focused more on the butt region of somebody's body, but that's okay. It's part of a body. Let's appreciate it for what it is. You don't have a nice butt, it hurts to sit down. So keep that in mind while you take a chair next time. Um, Alice, I don't tell anybody when I'm going to go live because I don't know when I'm going to go live. It's a, it's a split second decision based on four to seven voices going on in my head all at the same time. Um, and, and somebody was so kind, hopefully they'll never see this. I don't want to repeat this because it's just, but I thought this was one of the cutest comments ever. And um, they don't, I don't think they're on the video, nor do I remember who said it. So if they do watch the video, I'm apologizing in advance for screwing it up. But they said, Dave, I'm so appreciative of what you do that with the kind of mental illness you have that you can get through this with all of us together. What? What? I'm so appreciative of what you do, but with the kind of mental illness you're battling, it's just wonderful that you can get through this and we can help you get through this together. Yeah, so Alice, you think I know when I'm going live? Uh-huh, yeah. Stir that up in your pot roast and make some frickin' gravy. How you like that right there? Okay, um... This is a potpourri of sets, potpourri. Uh, Garofarig would be kind of a uh, hemorrhoid, huh? Um, <laughs> Arnulfo, I'm not going there. Um, ungraded Benjamin is here. Uh, not as judged as everybody else because uh, he's ungraded. So I appreciate when he gets on, there's going to be no criticism of ungraded Benjamin. When he's graded Benjamin, I want you guys to really figure out if what you want to give him because he deserves that. He deserves to be more than just a, a nothing. He should deserve to be an 8, 9, or 10. But, um, but right now, we don't have any of that pressure on us. Why is it going out of focus again now? Have I done anything different? Am I? Is it just running out of time? Hmm, I don't know. Here's a giraffe rig right here. Hey, we were just talking about it. Uh, no, no dead cat presents. Uh, no, most of my presents have been Pokemon related and I, the kids have all run out of money because they refuse to work. They just, they haven't refused to eat, but they've refused to, to work. So thank you for that. You got to get that going again, um, from ungraded Benjamin. Uh, by the way, puzzles are ungraded, so you don't have this way to criticize them as well. Let's see. Um, people are laughing. I don't know why. Apparently they've finally looked at the, my picture. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you for staying with me. These are these fire red leaf greens uh, with the reverses that we're used to. Maybe it's the two hands. Do you think I'm two hand in it and that's the problem? Let's not do that. Let's just go. Stop moving. Here, come here. Let's go here. Oh, Taurus. I don't want to show it. Let's go here. Hold on. Everybody hold on. We're going to figure it out. Do, 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 do. Rob Benjamin, that's nice. I can't, nothing's in focus. Maybe it's telling me that I've, I've, I've overstayed my welcome. Let's see, like maybe one more, put this down one more sec. Do this, do this, do this, put that over there and say, do we have any focus at all? 
Hi. That's not so bad. You'll always be a nine to us, ungraded Benjamin. I swear, no worries about that. All right, who's got any questions before I go? If I don't, if I take your whole day, then you guys have to overcome what you started your day with or ended your day with. Those of you that have sleepless nights, they're allowed to be more sleepless now than ever. Crystal Guardians, that's a nice one, huh? Totodile. I go on like this forever. Let's see, anybody ask anything, so... Need another beer to watch Dave's deep dive into a sanity? Thanks, Kevin High Life. And it should be probably one of those beers that's called High Life, right? Um, I'll come over here for a second. So, so what else? What else can anybody tell me? Has anybody got anything else to say? Um, I talked about, uh, uh, I've talked about everything. You guys missed all the beginning. Don't go back and watch. It's not worth it. Um, but I talked about consignment and I talked about the cards that are coming and I talked about boxes on the website that I put a bunch out there and I'm going to continue to list cards. I talked about the fact that I have an eBay business as well. And if you see anything out there, like I have all the promo cards out there that I haven't relisted yet. They sell every single day. Promo cards, uh, the very first one's Black Star, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 50 something. And I've got some other ones. So they're not on this website. So you just call me and you say, hey, you know what, Dave, I want to, uh, I want to get some of those. What do I need to do? And then you just tell me and that's... And like the other day, um, someone was on the, uh, what were they on? They were on my eBay site. I'll tell you a quick story. Um, yeah, I got I to gotta get it better, Gene. I'm sorry about the quality of the, uh, I'll figure that out. So, um, But somebody wanted to buy a World's 2019 nine-card set, the participant set. And they start making me offers on eBay. They're like, okay, I wanna, I'll pay you, you know, 250 I'll pay you. I decline. 275. Decline. Finally, I said, you know, why don't you go watch one of my videos? I don't want to watch your videos. I said, can you do me a favor? Go watch this video. Why? Okay, don't watch the video, but you're just losing you. And then the person finally figured it out because I can't tell them on eBay to move over. And so they figured it out and they went over and they bought the cards from me. And he's like, thank you. And I said, I was just trying to help. You know, so everybody's worried about everybody trying to take advantage of them, whatever. So don't worry about that. Um, someone asked here, Ungraded Benjamin said, what are the fourth print hollows you're still missing? What are the fourth print hollows? I'm missing four Fourth print hollows. These are from the base set. They're the fourth print. They're the ones that have the 99 to 2000 copyright date on the bottom. I'm missing the Charizard. I'm missing the very, the Blastoise. I'm missing, I think, Chansey, all the early ones. And then there's uh, one more. I don't remember what it is. It's either, either Alakazam. I think it might be Alakazam if there's one of those. So those are the four that I'm missing. Maybe the very first four of them. Um, your Pop Series 3 Hollow Blastoise. Jano OMS, did I show that in here? Did I show it or is it sitting somewhere? If you really want it, let me know and I will, um, and if it's an extra one, I'll put it aside for you. Uh, always feel free guys to let me know if you want me to put something aside for you as well. I don't mind doing that. I do that for people all the time. As long as you're going to get it, you want to pay for it or whatever, I don't mind holding it. I don't need the money tomorrow. Um, have you ever had a strong reaction to telling people who know that you collect Pokemon cards? That's a great question, Alice. Alice, um, I don't... Uh, you should know me. Um, you of all people should know me, but I don't know if you want to know me. Sometimes I wonder if you're willing to get to know me. Can I ask a favor? Take the time to know me. And don't, don't make it like a fake thing. Oh, I sure, David. No, anybody can say sure. What's in your heart? Actions speak louder than words, Alice. Come on. Uh, let me see. I think you asked me a question. Um, oh, Alice, I don't do anything with a strong reaction. I don't really like go and brag about it. I, I like to sort of understate it and say, by the way, I don't know if you know I do this. And then I say, I'm involved in this community. And they're like, what? And then most people don't even know what it is. And if they are, they're like, what did you just say? You have the most extensive collection. So yeah, um, no, no. I kind of run that show because I'm very proud of my involvement. Um, and most people don't have a, really an opinion about it either way. So Renji Fishkeeper, nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, I, I hope that you've accepted the fact that I showed you that fish keeper card because uh, it's not about your age. Although, Renji, you're aging just like all the rest of us. Don't, don't say, oh, I'm not aging, David. You know, um, Yeah, we are all aging, Okay, sometimes faster than we should, and that's not good. So I'm sorry that you're suffering from what we're all suffering from. Maybe we can all have mutual empathetic feelings for one another. Good to see you, though. Um, uh, 
Steph Nietzschean, a magic carp card. How would I know what my favorite magic carp card is, Steph Nietzschean? Why don't we ask a more obscure question? David, what's your favorite type of, you know, fire ant? <laughs> what do I know? It's a magic carp. There's a thousand versions. Is it a Pikachu? Does anyone know what a magic carp is? Is it a Charizard? No, Steph Nietzschean, nobody knows anything about magic carp, okay? So why don't you get on your magic carpet and ride away with that question? That wasn't a good one. Um, all right. Uh, any chance you'll be selling Champions Path on your site? I will try. I'm going to try. It just depends on what supply comes in. It won't be early because I've got more of it ordered late. So we'll see our no-flow of flowers that goes. I will try. Um, Jano MS, you might have seen if you do see a fourth print Blastoise. I'm looking for right now. I never grade, but in this case, I happen to add to get them all graded except for the ones that aren't graded, but the ones that are graded are all nines. So I'd be particularly looking for a nine or anything if you see it. Let me know. I appreciate that very much, and I work something out with you. Um, let's see. Uh, yes. Uh, Alice, it's not your heart that's full of pot roast and protein. That'd be your gut. Your heart is, is probably full of wonderful feelings of, of strong love, and that's good. Um, I just hope it's not blocked with arteries due to the protein. They can't get the rest of it out because that's not really a good recipe to say the least. Um, uh, ungraded Benjamin, the only person who can make a story out of the word high. Ungraded Benjamin, all that you've really said by that is that I just can't stop talking. And that's a very true statement. So you know what? That's a 10 for you if I'm grading my papers today and, and you're getting an A in my class. Um, Steph Nietzsche, don't cry. Don't cry. I don't mean to make anybody cry. I was just, I, I think I was, I, I love Magic Carp. I just don't know him that well. You know, it's kind of like saying, it's kind of like we talked about Kobe Bryant, the basketball player earlier. I loved Kobe. I just don't know him that well. What's my favorite performance? I just loved Kobe. I loved all of his performance. I love all of Magic Carp. Okay? So, so when I said, how special it is if you could ride a magic carpet? It's special, right? Who can ride a magic Who has a magic carpet? You have to be a genie. So I called you a genie, granting wishes to others in the whole world. That's what we did, right? That's what you should be loving right now. That's what you should be loving from this, not the rest of it, not the insults. Um, <laughs> gosh. Oh, I've crushed her. I've crushed her. Snap, Nietzsche, and you have your whole life ahead. All right, sure, the pandemic's taken a job or two away from your situation, but you know, in, in the States, we don't have that. We don't have people paying us money. We don't do that just for do, we don't. So you, and that's all. Um, uh, so Jean, Jean's basically, Jean is a, a marital and family therapist, she's telling me. And she's saying, not all people are meant to know everything of yourself. One has different friends for different purposes. And apparently Jean's got quite a few for different purposes. And I think we all know what I'm talking about when I say friends. Uh-huh. Um, and sometimes it's nice to talk with someone solely about Pokemon and with another by themselves. And, and Jean, I don't need people for that. That's why I have my internal voices in my head, that whole mental illness thing. So I respect that you need a physical body next to you. Okay, like you'd be here like... I'll just move the camera here and just show you. So, so you're like this, okay? Uh, hey, Gene, that's such a nice Pokemon card. What's your favorite Magic Carp? Oh, Gene, that it's it's the Magic Carp with the red logo on the top from the EX Deoxys set. Oh, mine is not from that. It's from the Crystal Guardian set, the one where the Magic Carp is jumping out of the water. You see, Gene, I don't need to move back and forth, okay? I don't need to do this and this. I just say. So, David, what's your favorite uh, Magic Carp set? I don't really have one. I don't like Magic Carp. It's a character. I think it's too fishy. You know what I'm saying? And, and all that goes on within my own head. Thanks. Um, uh, okay. And then, uh, but but apparently, Gene wants to debate me now. So, Gene, we we the presidential debate is here Tuesday night. If we want to do a live session, we can hang out, and you can I you can I, you and I can go at it. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I respect you too much. I want to be your vice presidential candidate for Pokemon's. Uh, Authority, Pokemon's, you know, federal registry, as it were. Um, Arnufo, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and um, and that's nice that Stephanie, we all want to buy, I guess everybody's looking to pitch in and buy Stephanie Chin a magic carpet so she can ride away from this uh, video webcast forever. I don't blame her, folks. Um, uh Gene, you have that all backwards. Okay, now... I, it's, this is so great because I just feel like this is a great place to sort of get this thing down to an end. Gene said, Dave, if I need someone physical, I wouldn't be online. 
How many of us have the heart to tell Jean she has it completely backwards? You have to start online these days to get someone physical, Jean, okay? I don't know what world you're living in. Come on. Um, uh, Renji Fishkeeper, I, 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 it, this is a one-man show. There's one person watching, one person filming, one person talking, and one person who will ever even know this happened or is willing to talk about it. This is the definitive one-person show. So thank you for pointing out the sad reality of what my life has become. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, kind of facts. All right, well, so... Um, yeah, I didn't mean to turn it into a roast battle. You guys should be roasting me. The next live stream we do, which will probably be, I was told I can't do more than one at a day. Otherwise, we'll just stay on. I'm going to do one of these at a telethon. I swear. I really am. And I'm not kidding around. We're going to do one of these. We're just going to stay on for hours. And you guys are going to throw a little money my way. It doesn't got to be a lot of money. You know, throw like a, you know, I, I would like maybe like Renji is struggling right now. He'll throw a buck or two. Ungraded Benjamin, because he's not graded, can't throw as much. He can only throw like three or four. Steph Nietzsche, you know, when she gets off her magic carpet, will make like a, a, a wish come true and throw five or six. Um, Alice, Alice is rich like the gods of the golden gods of whatever, uh, maybe like 10. And then um, and, and Asaf is in Amsterdam traveling the world. So he's got at least 11, 12 bucks. That's U.S., not Euro. <laughs> I did the conversion thing, U.S., not Euro. Um, metric, that's kilograms, not uh, whatever measurement here. And then we're just going to stay on, okay? We're just going to keep talking. Then I'm going to take all that money and put it into autism charity, which, by the way, I'm not autistic, but no one's going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me I'm not because I want to be whatever I want to be. Um, nice. And obviously now Jean's got people asking her if she'd be willing to meet up with them. So well, how do you like them beans? Huh? Huh, Jean? You got your online followers and stalkers coming right out of my fact, my whatever this is, my my... My whatever that is that people are, my chat stream, chat stream, fact stream, whatever, who knows? Um, yes, yeah, so that's what it is. Alice, I'm doing that for real. That's not a joke. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell the people you talk to and the people you still don't talk to, the people you used to talk to, the people you wish you didn't have to talk to, all the people you know, the people you don't know. Put it out on your social media platforms. Put it out to the, you know, give incentives, give gifts of your own for people to watch me. Do all of that, and we're going to do a te tele telethon. A Don't tell people about it either, okay? Don't let them steal my idea because you know people will, and we're going to take it. That's going to happen sooner rather than later. Um, no, no, no. The proceeds to my medication. How dare you? How dare you imply that there's any medication going into this body? Have you not been watching the stream? You in the kitchen cooking again, Alice? Stop. Stop. Put down the utensils and watch four minutes of the darn thing. Oh, God. I just, just one sec. I've got to do a pose for somebody I see. I've noticed that um, this, this gentleman, no, no uh, resemblance to fictional or whatever is intended. Um, so, but it goes like this. It's something like this. Let me try it like this. I notice the nose is always in like this. Like, I just saw, I just got a special card. I just picked up a big, I just opened it back, a box and I got a, my most amazing card. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know if you know who that is. Um, all right, so, uh, okay, I have to go. But before I go, I, I promise these guys that I do at least three rounds. So can you guys just hang on one sec? All right, and, um, and let me just do one more round of this. And I'll be right back. Uh, uh, this is Psyduck, Psyduck, Zangoose, the last time. Hey, guys, you guys have been so good today. Listen, I'm not even kidding around. I want to thank all of you. Um, I don't know your name, but if I did, I'd want to thank you. Charizard, I'm going to thank you, uh, Evie, Wooloo, Pikachu, and Nameless Guy that somebody once told me that I can't remember. Um, we're going to do our last round now, okay? You guys have had a fun time? That's good. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Be ready. And let's go. I'm going opposite side this way. Okay, here we go. Psyduck. 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 Psyduck, Zangoose! Zangoose! Zangoose. <laughs> come on, group hug, come on, bring it in. Everybody get in. 
Group hug, you too. Oh, you guys are the best. You're the best. Oh, good job, guys. Okay. All right. I'm back. How do we do? Okay. Listen, thank you for letting me make a few characters' dreams come true. I know it made my dreams come true. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little out of breath. I haven't worked out since that one video number two. Um, Alice, that's the truth. I'm sorry. But I'm going to do it again. I swear to God, you got me motivated when you talked about it. So I have to breathe. I'll be just one second. So I will get back out there. I'm going to do that. I need to take care of myself. There's a pandemic going on and, and not having good lungs is not the best thing. So I'm going to get back at him and start lifting again, pumping iron. I'm going to be in preparation for next year's Worlds. I'll be signing autographs and stuff. Your guys, meaning you guys are going to sign for me. I'm not signing Jack for you. You don't need my autograph. That's like worthless. Um, oh, that's nice. Thanks, Jan, for doing that. Uh, oh, they got it. Nice. Nose pass. You guys got a few things going on. You guys guessed my, my invitation, so that's kind of cool. I get a huddle. Let's see. And, um, and Giovanni's break room, you're on too late. I can't do, I can't stay on here anymore, but you're the best. You're like the most incredible supporter. I just, I got to shout out Giovanni's break room because the guy's going to be on here for one and a half minutes while I say goodbye in my web, uh, my webcam. This is a person that does everything in his power to be supportive. Like all of you comes to the website, you know, just, you know, buys little things. He's like, I don't even want this, but I want to support you. So I can't thank you enough for that. It means the world. And I just appreciate it so much. Um, uh, Ungraded Benjamin, anything that you're watching of mine, you're not hallucinating. Unfortunately, it's real. And that makes me feel bad for you. Uh, Charmander. Is that Charmander? Isn't that Charizard? God, I, God, I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> uh, stop. My bald spot? My bald spot on my head, Ungraded Benjamin? How can you say that? That bald spot, Ungraded Benjamin, you better watch my video where I'm doing the, um, the Thermodome treatment, okay, where I've got the helmet on my head. Uh, last night, I, and good, somebody got mad at Dan Benjamin. Thank Lukman Hafiz for, uh, for putting him in his place. I appreciate that. If I'm going to have to grade you on Ungraded Benjamin, it's not going to be pretty right now. I'm on treatment number 36, okay? You stick the dome on your head once every other day. It's got lasers that go into your head. And I've done it for 36 treatments. You need about 75 or 80. It's supposed to put the, the hair back in that bald spot. So is it going to work? Hell no. But am I going to try it? Hell yes. How much it cost me? 800 bucks. I'm going to try all 30 set through 75 treatments. I'm 36 in. So yeah, you want to see it? I'm not proud of it. I freaking hate it. But there it is. You know, I'm going to be 60 years old. I still got some hair here, right? There's something still here. A lot of people don't have that. My 30-year-old son doesn't have that. Sorry, Zach. No offense, you're much more handsome than I am. Um, uh, okay, and then I think Ungraded Benjamin tried to bail himself uh, out of his comment because he got just lambasted by everybody for throwing shade at my bald spot. Um, guys, uh, an hour and 28 minutes. I just want to say thank you for making my Sunday morning so wonderful. It's not fair that I do this stuff and I ruin your day while you guys make mine. Like what's wrong with that picture? But, um, but I'm trying to get this all together. I'm trying to create relationships. I love the ones of you that I'm talking to, seeing all the time. It does feel like you guys are my friends and I don't say that with any kind of sarcasm at all. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you ever needed anything at all, you reach out, you make sure I know. I talk to people late at night. I've talked people through off ledges. Usually it's you guys talking me off the ledge, but, um, but it's just wonderful to have all of you in my life and to be able to spend some quality time, even if it's millions of miles, thousands of miles away. Uh, but it means the world to me. So, um, so continue to support, continue to watch, and hopefully I'll continue to come up with stuff that you guys find entertaining and interesting, not necessarily in that order. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if anybody says anything else. Uh, nice. Thank you. And you guys are all trying to make me feel uh, better from what Ungraded Benjamin did. So, um, I've decided we're going to keep him ungraded. He doesn't deserve a grade. But thank you for making it fun. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And I'll see you guys all again real soon, okay? Have a great rest of your day. Bye.